I think I remember being a baby or watching a movie about a baby or telling a baby to shut up during a movie. Yes, that was it. Hey guys, Anthony here for D News. What is your earliest memory? and how clear is it? You might've noticed that your memories of childhood are a little spotty. We've talked about this before, how we don't remember being babies. It's called childhood amnesia. You can check out our video about it. Now, obviously babies store information to learn about the world, otherwise they would never get smarter. But when do those baby memories, basically everything before the age of three, disappear. A new study from Emory University says that it's age seven. A few years ago, they recorded as parents interviewed their three-year-olds about multiple events in their lives. They'd asked them a specific question. The example given was, remember when we went to Chuck E. Cheese? Did you have pizza? The researchers divided the kids up into groups for follow-up interviews about those same events. And now some were done when the children were between five and seven years old. Some were done between seven and nine. Now the younger group remembered about 70% of the events that they were interviewed about originally. The older group only remembered about 35% of them. So there's a huge drop off in early memory right around the age of seven. Now here's something interesting though. While the older children remembered fewer things about being a baby, they remembered those things in a lot of detail. With the younger kids, there were more remembered events, but the recall was very general. So memories that stick around seem to be the ones that have more detail to them, which makes a lot of sense because autobiographical memory requires a lot of detail and understanding. You gotta have a, a sense of self, who you are. You need to understand enough about time and location to fix the memory somewhere, and you need to have enough understanding about the environment around you. If you don't understand anything you're experiencing, how can you recall it clearly later? And a lot of the structures of the brain that allow for that sort of knowledge and understanding are undergoing a lot of change during those ages. A study of children and young adults by Wayne State University and MIT show that there are regions of the brain that control attention and strategy that go through physical changes during those years, and older children and adults have easier access to those parts of the brain. So between those physical changes and our increased understanding of the world around us, the way we remember changes, and so we become unable to grab onto those weirdy baby memories. And it's probably for the best, because I do not want to remember a world where I am scared of the vacuum cleaner, because that is straight up embarrassing. How much can you remember from being a toddler? Let me know down below, and subscribe for more D News.